Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I have this channel to vlog about my life as a full-time online teacher and to serve other online teachers as well. So please, please, please make sure it is not the last time that you see me by hitting that red subscription button and the bell down below to be notified of new videos every week. And to give this video a thumbs up, it helps support me and this channel. And in order for me to continue running my channel and providing great content for you, please make sure you check out my links down below to help better serve your needs as an online teacher or a parent or a Chrome Music Lab learner, whatever it may be. So for this video, I am going to be sharing with you my top five tips to earn the most money possible as a online teacher. And this goes whether you are doing this full-time or part-time, or just a side hustle that you do every now and then, whatever the situation may be, this video is for you. And these tips that I share with you are tips that I use personally to earn the most money possible as a full-time online teacher. So I really hope that hearing my input as to why I think these tips are your best bet to earning the most money possible will help you in the long run. One of the first tips that I want to share with you is whatever platform that you're teaching on, whether that be out school or all school or anywhere else where you're having to create your own live courses, first thing you want to try out is offering multiple sessions uh, each day that you are allowing yourself to teach. So if you are doing this part time on um, whatever days you are allowing yourself to teach, you want to try to see if you can offer two sections in the morning and then two sections in the afternoon to teach and see if either your morning sections fill up or your afternoon sections fill up. And that can help determine, you know, which sections are going to have the most bookings. And with the most bookings, that would mean more earnings for yourself. So like take, take all school, for example, right now, because it is a new platform, we are seeing a trend where a lot of early morning classes are popular or in the evening, late at night are going to be popular. So if you're willing to teach either really early in the morning or really late at night, you have a better chance at earning the most money possible as opposed to trying to open up a section in the in the afternoon or in the midday but you want to see but you still want to try to see if you can do early in the morning or late in the evening and just see hmm i think i earn the most money in the evening i'm going to teach in the evenings or whatever the situation may be again this varies depending on your availability and you know whether you don't mind getting up early in the morning to teach or if you don't mind staying up later and teaching everyone's different in that instance so you just try to figure out an experiment you know which sections book more and you go with that and you stay consistently open with that option the second tip is in relation to what kind of platform you want to teach on so if you are currently an out school teacher and you have classes that are working for you and you get consistent bookings, you can stay with out school. However, with all school, they are offering plenty of promotional offers where however much money you earn with the classes that you taught on all school, they're going to take a much less percentage of your earnings than out school. And just for context, OutSchool takes 30% of your earnings, whereas AllSchool is only taking 15% when you use Zoom. And then right now, uh, the percentage for using their in-house system class pod is around 10 to 13%, which that's a big difference in terms of how much you can earn per week. And yes, it is a new platform and there may not be as many learners, but at the same time, you also want to keep the most of your earnings that you teach because at the end of the day, you know, on OutSchool, 
OutSchool takes 30% of your earnings. And then you have to set aside at least 30%, you know, depending on where you live for taxes when it comes to either your quarterly taxes or taxes every year, depending on your situation in terms of your taxes. So you want to earn as much money possible. So if you've been on the fence about all school, now would be the chance to sign up and see what they're about. And if you are willing to teach on both out school and all school, that's also another way to earn the most money possible as an online teacher. It doesn't have to be full time. Like I said, it's just if you realize one platform, you earn more money than the other, then then you know which platform to put more energy towards. And if it does happen to be all school, then you're earning, you're keeping most of your earnings. So if you want to know more about all school, please check out those links down below. I have a free guide that is related to all school and how to submit your demo successfully and course ideas on what you could teach on all school. And then when you're ready, you can sign up down below on the guide as well. Number three, I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit. So if you are not wanting to do all school and you wanna stay on the out school side of things and bookings are maybe not what you thought they may be, you might wanna consider tip number three, which is to join an out school organization. Now I have done an in-depth video on what an out school organization is about. And if you are concerned about not getting enough bookings, why you should join an out school organization. So I'll make sure to leave that video in the cards for you. So that way you can check that out and see if maybe joining an out school organization is a better fit for you. I know for me personally, I've had some really great experiences so far with teaching on the out school organization that I am a part of and I'm able to see more learners and be able to teach more classes because I now have more options on teaching on my personal out school profile and now the organization. And even though the earnings that you keep may actually be a little less even than on your personal out school profile. The organization has more opportunities for you to see more learners and more bookings and more earnings in return just because there's more traffic and more people coming to see those classes. Tip number four is one-on-one -on -one tutoring and offering yourself as a tutor online. So I know there are tons of videos out there about how to start up online tutoring and how you can get the ball rolling on that. Maybe you have also been on the fence about that, but you're not really sure if tutoring is your best bet. And I say go for it because there are a lot of teachers online that have no idea that the most earnings they get online is to offer one-on-one -on -one lessons. They could be private reading classes. They can be specific like math tutoring or science tutoring or specific subject tutoring or even private music lessons. The, the possibilities are in, endless in terms of what kind of one-on-one -on -one tutoring you can offer online. So like I said, if you've been on the fence about it, I say go for it because there are a lot of teachers online that earn the most money just from their one-on-one -on -one lessons uh, as opposed to their group lessons that they have to offer. Just something to think about. Tip number five is to become a Teachers Pay Teachers Premium member. So maybe you already have a Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're seeing a trend of more teachers opening up their store and offering more products and you see that there have been many teachers that have earned a lot of money just by selling the products that they used personally, either in their brick and mortar classroom or on their online classrooms. They see that you can make a profit just by offering those 
those things that you use in your lessons. And so I do have another separate video about teachers pay teachers. Again, I will leave that in the cards. So one thing about opening up a store is that you can have a basic membership and if you do make a sale, Teachers Pay Teachers takes a certain percentage amount of those earnings so that it covers their fees. And then you have the remaining rest of the money to yourself. And, you know, that's a big chunk of money for just the basic membership. So one thing that I really, really like about the premium uh, membership with Teachers Pay Teachers is that it's only about $60 a year. Six zero, not not 600, okay? Just $60 a year. And I'm already going to tell you now <laughs> that the earnings that I'm making in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, I'm going to at least be covering the fee that I paid for my membership, if not more. So the premium membership will eventually pay for it itself because every time that someone buys a product, you get to keep about 80% of your earnings, which makes a huge difference when you offer a $5 product on Teachers Pay Teachers and you actually earn $4 instead of Teachers Pay Teachers saying, well, you only earned $2.50 it makes a big difference. So if you've been on the fence about teachers pay teachers and you're like, I don't know if I want a premium membership, even if you don't meet the quota for how much you would have paid a year for the membership, it's still not that bad for a membership compared to what you probably already spend on Netflix for the whole year anyways. So I'd say it's worth it, especially if you are trying to be a little more proactive with your Teachers Pay Teachers store. Those are just my five tips for earning the most money possible as a online teacher. And so if you have any other questions or you have any other suggestions on earning more money, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to discuss with you other options and see how you earn the most money possible as an online teacher as well. So thanks for listening and I will see you next time.